It's high on the organizational agenda because we have now reached the threshold where business is changing in real time and strategies that you might have planned for either a year or five years are no longer going to be applicable. You have to be ready to evolve according to market conditions right as it's happening. And so for that reason, you have to put together agile structures that allow your business to pivot very, very quickly. Now unfortunately, there's areas like technology infrastructures where you can't pivot quickly because things don't operate together, they're on set hardware systems that you've had for a long time. And so an example of, of transformation that needs to happen is that digital transformation where we move everything into the cloud in order to be able to operate more efficiently and effectively and much more quickly. I would say the biggest barriers for transformation are organizations that have a lot of hierarchy, that have been doing things a certain way for a long time, and they're entrenched processes and procedures lots of approvals required, and so innovation gets stifled because the organization doesn't have the infrastructure in place to facilitate any kind of agile movement. And therefore, it's, it's difficult to have real transformation when you're not constantly putting it at the forefront and making it a priority. Well, we need to understand the human element to be effective at transformation. The fact is, is Whenever you want to make a giant change, you're dealing with human beings who don't love change anyway and might not see the applicability of that change to their job. And so as a leader, you must be inspirational, you must have a big picture vision, you have to actively communicate what is this change and how are we going to do it. I think the mechanics of transformation are exceedingly important. How is this going to happen? And let's communicate about it as frequently and as clearly as possible. And that's a way to get people on board because you have to be a motivator in this day and age, particularly because so many people are scared by current circumstances. It doesn't have to be scary, but as a leader, you have to be the one who gets people excited about transformation, something that's good for people. I want people to see it that way. So I'm a workforce futurist, and what that means is that I look at trends in the marketplace and try to determine what has the potential to really be disruptive. So things like the rise of contract work, uh, the rise of the human-machine hybrid team, and other evolving workplace structures. And it relates to transformation because most organizations have been operating on somewhat of a nine to five, Monday through Friday, everyone's a full-time employee, um, everybody's in a, in a physical location, and we see work changing rapidly. The thing is, most organizations are not in a position to really move everybody over to that model. And so what I do as a consultant is I work with those organizations to one small step at a time put pieces in place that allow them to take advantage of this 21st century business world where there's so much technology to help us, but we really have to use things like automation far more strategically. And that's where I come in.